Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to compile frames for your animation. So you just exported your PNG sequence and now you have to put them all together side by side and export the final video. I'm gonna show you how to do that. We're gonna go ahead to File, New, Video Editing. So we're gonna be in our video editing space to compile all of our frames. I'm gonna go ahead and minimize my screen recording right here, or my face, so you guys can see. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Add, right? We're in our new document here, brand new document, Add Image Sequence. And now this is where we need to locate our files. So I'm gonna go ahead into my Blender folder. I'm gonna find my Instagram folder, Exports, and then I have a render, let's see here, Frame Animations, here we go. So I'm just gonna click on one of these random ones. Actually, I'm not gonna use that one, sorry guys. Um, okay, here's a perfect one. So I have all my frames in this folder right here. I'm gonna select the first one, I'm gonna scroll down, and I'm gonna shift click to select all of them. And then I'm gonna click on Add Image Strip. So now, I think I remember exactly what the dimensions were of this specific render. So you wanna go ahead and put that up here on the top right. And I'm almost positive it was 1080 by 1080, which is native Instagram size. Because if you have anything overhanging, on the left or the right, as you guys can see when I expand this, you do not want that. So make sure your dimensions are correct there first. Then I'm gonna choose my frame rate. 24 frames a second is kind of standard in the film industry, but you can go ahead and choose 30 frames a second if you want. I'm gonna stick to 24 frames a second. The next thing I wanna do is go down here to transform and make sure that my scale for X and Y are both set to one. We're good to go there. Also, I'm gonna drop down this that's, uh, sorry, this little drop down that says video, and I'm gonna click on reverse frames. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna do exactly what you think. It's gonna reverse our frames because almost every time when you import, they get switched around. So that's what you wanna do. So now if I go ahead and play this back, you can see everything's looking really good. Perfect. So I actually think I rendered this at 60 frames a second. So let me go ahead and adjust the frame rate to 60 and let's go ahead and play this back. Much better. Perfect. Now you need to look at where your last frame is. I'm pretty sure this one was 120. So I'm gonna click on 120 for my end frame range. And now if we play this back, we have our seamless looping animation. Everything is looking good and we're almost ready to export our file. We need to go to our output properties up here on the top right. We wanna click on our desktop for now. And I'm just gonna call this export test. I'm gonna click on enter, accept, File format, we wanna do FF, MPEG, video. RGB is fine. Color management, don't worry about that. Encoding, do worry about this. MPEG-4 is your ideal format. Do not click on Matroska. If it says Matroska by default, go ahead and switch that over to MPEG-4. For the video codec, you wanna have it be H.264. And then for our output quality, we wanna go ahead and click on high quality. You can do medium if you want. I just prefer high quality because that is my preferred method. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here to render. Similar to rendering your animation, you're also going to render your video. So we're gonna take all of these images that are back to back at our specified frame rate and our specified dimensions, specified format, and we're gonna actually put those together into a video. So we're gonna click on render, render animation. It's gonna run through every single frame and then when it's done, it'll be on frame 120. So I'm gonna go ahead and X out of this little preview. I'm gonna minimize Blender, and on my desktop is my completed file. As you can see, we have a video that you can now take and put on Instagram, or you can put it onto YouTube, whatever you prefer. That is how you take your frames from your animation and you actually compile them into a video file. And you have full control over whatever you would like to export them as. If you decide MPEG-4 is not what you want and you want a QuickTime video, you can do that here as well, or you can even export a WebM for the web. So you have full control and Blender has tons of plugins that you can download for other file formats as well. These are just the defaults and I'll be using MPEG-4 for pretty much all of my stuff. So that's what you guys wanna to stick to. This is just a quick tutorial to show you guys how to do that because a lot of people don't use this method. They'll either import them directly into Premiere or they'll actually just go ahead and render the video directly from Blender, which I do not suggest doing because if you mess up and your Blender fails, guess what? You just lost all of that animation data and you have to completely restart the render. That is why I export PNG sequences 
And the other plus side is if you have a specific frame within your animation that you really like, guess what? Now you have an image of that and you can actually take that image and do whatever you need to with it. You can make it the thumbnail for your video. You can use it for a logo or a profile picture. Um, it's just really nice to have access to all of those frames. So you have full control every time you go ahead and export an animation. And that was it for this video, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this. Please consider subscribing to the channel. I'll be putting out more content soon. And if you guys have any suggestions for future video tutorials, go ahead and drop them down on the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day.